Welcome back. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use the Power Thesaurus to increase your powerful words as a new author. If you are looking for the easiest, quickest, and most cost efficient way to edit, publish, and create a Kindle audiobook, then you have arrived at the right time and this is the right channel. This video is for beginners. I give you easy step by step video tutorials that you can follow. KDP Self Publishing, Make Money From Home, You Are The Creator Series, Step-by-Step -step Videos by the DIY Affiliate, Learn The Basics. In this video, I am talking to you about the Power Thesaurus, where to find it, what it is, and how it can work for you. First, a little bit of housekeeping. What is a thesaurus, a synonym? and an antonym. If you don't know the answer, no worries. Thesaurus, dictionary of synonyms and antonyms together. Synonyms are words that are similar or phrases, expressions of the same language that have nearly the same meaning. Antonyms are words that are opposite. As an example, good is bad. Find the link in the description click into the link, sign up with either Google, Facebook, Twitter, or Apple. Once you have signed up, then log in. You will see this page. You can search using the search bar. This, is app. this app is a search engine. As you are typing in your word, you will see other words that are similar being produced. When you scroll down and mouse over a word, you will see synonyms and antonyms. You can choose from synonyms or antonyms. You will also see your favorites and words that you searched or pinned. Scroll over to your avatar. This is your account. You will see your content, your favorite, your searches. The three dots will show you your profile and your account settings and log out. Account settings. This is where they ask you to try Pro for free and to see the accounts that are connected to your account. About examples, terms, privacy and cookie policy and Pro subscription. To search any word, you would start typing the word in. You will see other words that are similar to it also appearing. You will also notice as you mouse over, you will be able to see your synonyms and your antonyms together. When you click on the search, this will open. This will open up your Power Thesaurus dashboard. Here you will find your lists. In the categories of your list, you will see antonyms, which is opposite meaning, synonyms, similar meaning, thesaurus, which is an overview of antonyms, synonyms, and sentences, related words, which is... Uh, irrelevant topics, it sounds like similar pronunciation, sentences, examples of sentences, definitions, which is examples and meanings, 
and rhymes. Open the lists, view more side arrow. You will see the whole list, including the narrower and the broader. You can now move around the items on the list to suit your own specifications. When you are done, you click the back arrow, which will take you out of the editing of your lists and return you to your default lists. You can choose from your main list to have your search in words, in phrases, or in idioms. An idiom is a phrase or expression that typically presents as figurative, not literal meaning attached to the phrase, such as raining cats and dogs. As an example, synonyms for the word watch. Synonyms for watch. Searching words, you will find single words. Phrases, synonyms for watch phrases. Upvote your word, make it more popular. Downvote your word, make it less popular. When you mouse over, you can copy to a clipboard. Here Listen to what your word or phrase sounds like or pin your word or phrase to use for future references. Idiom. Here is an example of some idioms for the word watch. Here are examples of the word watch synonyms and used with idioms. Bear in mind, black and white, cross your fingers, give someone the glad eye. Parts of speech. Verbs are action words. Adjectives are describing words. And nouns are a person, place, or thing. Parts of speech. Back arrow. You will find your verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and prepositions. This app is totally amazing. It even gives you tags. You'll find the most popular tags as well as other tags that you can use. You can even search for tags. If you mouse over any word, you will see the tag appearing on the right-hand side. Hashtags are important and will help you with your search engine optimization. Save to your favorites. Or hold to adjust to listen to see how the word or phrase is pronounced. or copy to your clipboard. Click into the three dots and you can download or share. Download or share or report the word or phrase. Main menu. Main menu under the About tab. Here you will find information about the Power Thesaurus how it is community-driven, comprehensive, easy to follow, and free. Its products are mobile apps you can find at the 
App Store and on Google Play and extensions that you can find as well including the Microsoft Word extension and the Gmail extension and the Google Docs extension. These are browser extensions that are add-ons. You could also put this hyperlink on your website to help support the Power Thesaurus as well as increase your chances of better search engine optimization you can donate by using your bank card or paypal if you choose and you can follow on the social media such as facebook instagram going to the chrome web store click on the three dots you will see a pop-up box open up scroll down until you get to more tools scroll down until you get to extensions and click on extensions choose the main menu for your extension scroll down till you get to the chrome web store Type in Power Thesaurus. You will see this box come up. Click open the box and scroll down to make sure that your computer is compatible with this app. Read the information that is below. Use the power of synonyms by the button in the toolbar, right click or by word selection. Scroll up till you get to add to Chrome. You will see a pop-up box come up. Choose add extension. The computer will start checking to see if the browser extension is going to work with your computer. You will see a pop-up box come up. It'll say that it has been added. You would then right click and pin it to your browser extension. Open options. Change the font size if you would like to large and your pop-up word selection to icon. And the context menu to open window or search. Now you are ready to use the Power Thesaurus on all of your social media. The first time you use it, it will ask you to log in to, so you make sure you are logged in to your extension. You will know when you are logged in because there will be a pop-up box that says successfully logged in. Here is an example on how to use the Power th Thesaurus with your Facebook. You can also use the Power Thesaurus with any other app online. If you run into any problems, you can troubleshoot by clicking on the icon in the browser extensions, scrolling down to you can read and change site data and choosing on all sites. Thank you for watching this video and being part of the You Are the Creator step-by-step -step video tutorials in which I show you how to use Kindle Create, how to improve your grammar, spelling, and punctuation, how to use the Microsoft Word settings, 
how to set your Microsoft Word up right, how to use the Microsoft Word Dictate, my six steps to write a book with Microsoft, and the Microsoft Word styles. This video has been the Power Thesaurus. This will help you to gain more powerful words that you can use with your Kindle Ready book. As a new author, you can make your words more powerful. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe to my channel for the next video in which I will be showing you. You can add the Microsoft add-in for the Power Thesaurus to make your manuscript even more powerful.